what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And in today's video, I could not be more excited to finally show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.5 on device without the assistance of a computer at all for literally all devices, including those powered by Apple's A12 and A13 CPUs. This also functions on older devices as well, being the iPhone 10 and below that do function with check grain. So all devices across the board, no computer. There is really only one caveat that of course this method does in fact rely on the use of developer enterprise certificates. So if and when those get revoked, things become a little bit more complicated and you can't just easily install it like I'm about to show you guys how to do in today's tutorial. So I do recommend actually doing this on the computer. It's the much more reliable method. I will have it linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. But I do understand that that is not a possibility for a large portion of jailbreakers. So that's why we're here today showing you how to jailbreak 13.5 no computer. Now we are about to get into it, but first we do have something very important that we need to go over. So if you're not running iOS 13.5 right now, as of recording this video, I highly, highly recommend that you get on iOS 13.5 before the signing window closes. It doesn't matter whether you borrow a computer to do this or whether you do it on your device. So long as you do get to iOS 13.5, the latest firmware supported by this jailbreak. However, if you are watching this video at a later point, it is in fact possible that something like 13.5.1 will be released. If that's the case, do not update to it. Don't get it confused. 13.5 and 13.5.1 will not be the same firmware by any stretch of the imagination, and this jailbreak will only function on up to iOS 13.5, whichever firmware Apple releases next will in fact patch the jailbreak, meaning it will make it no longer usable. And if you are watching this video at a later point in time, then it is in fact possible that your iOS device did download an OTA software update, even if you are on a supported firmware, being iOS 13.5 or below. This will also work on lower firmwares, but the only reason I do recommend that you update is to just be on the latest, most stable iteration of iOS, so that way you can enjoy your jailbreak to its full potential. But at any rate, if your device did in fact download an OTA update, this will very, very much be prevalent in the future when something like 13.5.1 is released. I want you guys to go to settings general and then go to iPhone settings or iPad settings. And I want you guys to look for the OTA update here. And if you find it, tap into it and then just delete it and restart your iOS device. Okay. So with that out of the way, keep in mind guys, that is so, so, so very important. I can't tell you how many people get locked out of jailbreaking because they update and also people who have complications with jailbreaking because their devices have downloaded an OTA software update. So like I said, with that out of the way, all I want you guys to do is just navigate to our article on BTI, which is linked down below in the description. It's the very first link. I will also have it in your cards now for the sake of convenience. This is our written guide. It goes much more in depth than what I'm talking about right here, but I want you guys to scroll all the way down to where you see the big blue uncovered download button and then just tap it. Then it will gather all of the links and resources needed and you'll finally be redirected to this page where I want you guys to just look for one link, just tap right where it says tap here and you will then be redirected to a signing service that we have found to be pretty good over the past couple uncover iOS jailbreak releases. And then what I want you guys to do is just scroll down, look for the red download button. You can ignore everything else, just tap it, followed by install to the pop-up that appears, and then uncover should start installing on a blank spot on your device's home screen. You can see it's working right now. I will note one more time, however, that these services and any service like this actually uses what's known as a developer enterprise certificate. It's how Apple actually works with some companies to do in-house app distribution, and these certificates can be revoked at literally any point in time since they're not being used for what they were intended for. Don't worry, it's completely fine. However, the service will eventually get its certificate revoked, and if and when that happens again, installing Uncover becomes a lot more complicated on device. You might notice now if you try to open up Uncover, it will not open. That's because we have to trust the developer enterprise certificate. So go inside of your settings application, and then I want you guys to go to general and scroll down to device management, 
tap under the enterprise app certificate name, tap on trust, and then followed by trust again, and now you can load up on cover. So go back to your home screen, launch up on cover, and now we are ready to jailbreak, guys. Now just tap on jailbreak right here, and it will go through the jailbreak process. Now the very first time you go to jailbreak, the system will create a backup of your root FS, known as your root file system. This is basically just a snapshot that Uncover will use in the event you want to unjailbreak. It's just making a copy of all of your system files pre-jailbreak so that way it can put them back. It does not touch any user data or any app data at all. All of that is left alone, but it will look very similar to this. Here, I'll throw up a little bit from our old video from our computer jailbreak guide. It looks like this. After you tap out of the pop-up, it will tell you that your device needs to be rebooted and you'll need to use Uncover again. So just okay to the prompt. Once your device comes back up, just launch up Uncover, same thing, tap on jailbreak one more time. But for me now, this time it fully worked right out of the gate because I already have a backup of my root FS. So I've already done that and I've already unjailbroken and I'm re-jailbreaking here to show you guys exactly how to do it, no computer. So you can see that after we swipe up, after the device respring's, we have Cydia on our home screen here right next to Uncover. So let's go ahead and tap inside of Cydia. And guys, I just cannot believe this. We are jailbroken on the latest public version of iOS on one of the latest devices, the iPhone XS Max running the A12 CPU. And uh, we're on iOS 13.5, guys. So if we scroll down to Cydia right here, you'll see that this identifier confirms iPhone 11, 6, AKA XS Max, iOS 13.5. Fantastic stuff. So now inside of the changes section, I want you guys to install any and all available upgrades that you see. It will be different for you based on when you're watching this video as packages do of course change. But there, as you can see, Cydia does in fact function and work properly. Now, one last thing I mentioned before I wanna get you guys on your way to installing some great tweaks inside of Cydia is that any time and I do mean anytime your device reboots, meaning it powers off and comes back up, maybe it dies and you had to restart it, you are going to have to go through the jailbreak process again. So it is so very crucial that you maintain a copy of Uncover on your device. And once you do reboot and you need to re-enable your jailbreak, just go inside of Uncover and then tap on jailbreak. It just says re-jailbreak for me because I'm already jailbroken, as you guys know. But like I said, Signing services do get their certificates revoked. There are a couple of workarounds. Subscribe. I will let you guys know exactly how to do that once those videos are out. And uh, as for now, you might be wondering, what do I get from Cydia? Great question. We're going to have a segment of our latest Top Tweaks video play right after this, and it will be linked in your cards right now, as well as down below in the description. So this will get you well on your way to enjoying your new jailbreak. Hope you guys love this one. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys 50 free tweaks that you can install right after jailbreaking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into things. You can unlock your device without even having to touch the screen with Auto Unlock X. Uh, you can add a custom grid layout to your lock screen. Let me go ahead and place my phone down. Check this out. I have a three by seven layout. Uh, if I just pull down, I think it's from the top left. There we go. Uh, this is where you can adjust all of the settings with Home Plus Beta. Uh, another thing that I see people do right after jailbreaking is adding this music visualizer tweak to the home screen. So check that out when music is playing. You have a nice visualizer right there on the lock screen. And we have this new lock screen clock widget right here. This is with a tweak called April. Super cool. Another awesome music one on the lock screen is called Sylph. It basically shrinks down this music widget and makes it look a little bit cleaner on the lock screen. You know, let's not forget the basics, going back to the home screen real fast on the iPhone 11. I can now have the battery percentage up in the top right in the status bar. Instead of the battery icon, that's done with digital battery 13. Just simple quality of life tweaks. If I'm in the multitasking pane, I can click this clear button right there to clear out all of my apps. Right now I have it so it won't uh, clear out of the now playing app, but you can change that. You can have custom home screen animations with cylinder. 